How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Welcome to the channel. Welcome to Rancho with Ricardo. We are here to speak and talk about sisters in this little recap that we got going on. But before we get into that, don't forget to hit the notification bell to turn on your notifications to be updated about all the great things going on over here on the channel. And also, don't forget to hit the subscription button so you can be privy to all the great things that happen over here, okay? And look in the description box down below for all of the information that you need. How to follow me on social media and different platforms, how to get in contact with me if you want to suggest something to me, and other things as well. And with that being said, let's get into this recap of the two newest episodes of Sisters, okay? Ciao. We finally found out who the pappy is. Of Karen's baby. She been pregnant for 18. And hear me when I say this. 18 longer. Years. Uh, she been pregnant for 18 long years. So she opens the first episode back from the hiatus. Telling her mama that both Zach and Aaron are the father of her twins. One tw Aaron got her pregnant with one twin. Zach got her pregnant with the other. I was really praying that Zach wasn't going to be the father of none of these babies. But here we are. And boy, was I hoping she wasn't going to be... <laughs> Ooh, ciao. Anyway, so Zach calls to find out the results. And she tells him, I want to tell you in person the next day instead of over the phone. So Zach gives Fatima the update. She said, I'm going to come along because this affects me too. And Trey the Handyman is over there as usual trying to talk to Karen, trying to flirt with her, trying to get with her, trying to let her know that I can be your next man. Okay, I could take you to new levels and take you to new heights. I could show you everything. Okay, I will turn you every which way but loose if you let me. And she still does not want that man. Why? Because she's pregnant and she does not want to be misconstrued. Y'all know Karen is the uppity, I only thought I was going to have a child with one person type girl, and she looks down on a lot of the girls, okay? She looks down on Danny, she looks down on Sabrina, she looks down on Andy, she looks down on Fatima, she thinks she's top tier, she looks down on Pam, but Pam right now is the only friend she truly has that's going to delve into her delusions. That's how it goes. Andy and Fatima to confront to Gary about Penelope. And I'm going to tell y'all right now, I don't give a damn about Penelope. I don't give a damn about what Penelope got, Penelope got going on. I don't care about Penelope. I don't care. And I'm going to tell you why I don't care about Penelope. Because Penelope was told to leave. Take your stuff. Leave. Don't come back. Disappear. Don't let that man hold you down. Okay? This is for, this is for the girls all around the world. Okay? Shout out loud, don't let that man hold you down. Can't hold us down. She did the complete opposite of what Andy and Fatima told her to do. Now, Andy, being ever so, you know, nosy, spots blood on the wall. So after, you know, Andy and Fatima leave, she tell Fatima about the blood that's on the wall and she want to call the police. But then she want to tell uh, Jordan first. But I'm like, girl, call the police. Tell them before he could tell on you. Because, you know, he didn't try to flip it on you and say you had something to do with her disappearing. But Andy, that dumb. I like Andy, but she dumb. She dumb when dealing with Gary. You don't, you don't give that man enough time to plot and plan. He's a schemer. He's a scammer. That's what scammers do. And he's violent. Um, just a forewarning, ladies, gentlemen, the girls, gays, and the days. Please, if you watch this show, do you see the characteristics in Gary? You do? Okay. Stay away from people who act like Gary. They don't mean you no good. They only mean to do harm and bring chaos into your life, and you don't want that. So, Gary is still doing Hayden real dirty. Sleeping with his wife, Tamara. Over here is... Sending freaky text messages to each other. They sexting. Okay. And listen, Hayden ain't spending no quality time with Tamara because Miss Marie Willis wants to meet with him and Andy. And while he gone, Tamara decides to pay a visit to Gary and she get bent over his desk. Okay. Bumping and grinding. So Andy is about to go back to the office. Jordan calls Andy, wondering where Penelope is. And when Andy's quiet, 
He like, do you know where she is? Do you know anything? But it's by the time they get alone, like they're alone with each other down to the house, Andy says, Listen, but that would be missing. And she finally explains to Jordan just how dangerous Gary really is. And he like, we gotta tell the police. And Andy running up behind him. But guess what? Gary didn't already beat her to it down to the police station accusing Andy of being responsible for Penelope being missing. And I said, Andy, this is one of them times that it's just like, girl, where were your antennas? Get it together. You know you can't give this man two seconds alone before he's plotting and planning and scheming. So Sabrina wants Danny to make peace with Karen. And Danny feels like I'm not apologizing for liking Fatima. And then things for Danny just get a little bit more hectic. Because Tony pawns his kids off on Danny so he can go have a meeting with overseas executives. And Sabrina down to the uh, bank trying to give herself fertility shots because she want to become a mother. But she got her hands full because Maurice is back on the job and is arguing with that white woman who he called Bald Spot Becky. And they arguing over a damn diet soda. She accused him of taking it. Maurice did take it, but he ain't never going to admit that to her. And I said, God damn it, I miss Maurice and his antics. I did. So later on, Maurice's new man, okay, he come over and he want to take his relationship with Maurice to the next level. I'm like, what's the next level? Y'all moving in together? Y'all getting married? What is the next level? <laughs> now, Sabrina and that man who don't want no kids, even though she's taking fertility treatments, is down there watching a softcore corno movie trying to figure out some new moves that they own and they get so turned on that they head to the bedroom and they all start stretching and it's like I'm gonna stretch here, I'm gonna stretch there because I got to get limber and I gotta just get limber enough so we can be able to do this and I could be, you know, doing flips and tricks and splits and all that great stuff. Now mind you, while Danny was watching them kids, them kids was all up in her stuff and the little girl found some handcuffs. And the little girl asked Danny, what you do with these? And she said, take them home and ask your daddy. That's gonna play into the next episode so the team arrive at karen's apartment she don't want to share the news because you know what she feel away about fatima being there but fatima gonna be here okay this is lover for life and she like well i can't tell you until the special guests get here who's the special guest aaron but before Aaron gets there, Danny knocks on the door because she didn't came over to talk to Karen. And she sees Zach and Fatima and she smiles because, you know, <laughs> something about to happen. So Danny spills the tea about her prompting Zach to get the DNA test. And then like, oh, so she put you up to it. And he was like, we talk about him and Fatima. We had a talk. I was still apprehensive. Then Danny says something. And I was like, you know what? Let's go ahead and get it done. So Aaron shows up and she, Karen finally explains that Zach is the father of one baby and he's happy about it and he hopes it's a girl and Fatima is just giving him a look like, can you calm down? Be static. Be cool. Be copacetic. Shh. Be cool, baby. Damn. But he's just happy. Okay. He got one baby. Dan, uh, Aaron got another. Before Danny leave, Karen is like, don't tell the girls. But, like, you don't want her to tell the girls because you don't want nobody other than your mama and the people in that room to know that you got two baby daddies. And that she was hoping that you could pass off either Aaron as the father of both of the babies or you could pass off Zach as both off as the father of both of the babies. Because you don't want to admit to the world that you truly are just like the rest of the girls out here. Okay? You was living this good clean girl aesthetic and you you're only with one man and that man may have done you dirty but you get done with that man and go on to another you're a serial romantic you will never get yourself caught up like this because you look down on girls like you who end up in these situations but guess what girl you in the situation and your tea is going to get spilled duh because danny gonna tell somebody and fatima definitely gonna tell andy so i don't know what you're hiding for
Aaron is, listen, Aaron is excited about being a dad. And Zach reminds him that you got one and I got one. You take care of yours and leave mine alone. And I said, well, damn, this is going to be a mess. This is going to be hella messy. But let's get into it. So we're back now to the police station. This is um, episode 13 at this point. This is the second episode of the new, uh, I don't know if it's the new season or the second half. I don't care. Anyway, Andy get taken into custody. So they at the police station and Gary is being real fake and overdramatic like he always is. And he tells the police that, oh, Andy was the last person to talk to Penelope. So she brought in for questioning. And when she brought into questioning, the same officer who searched her office while the FBI was investigating Gary for embezzlement is the same one questioning her. And he asked Andy to testify against Gary or, you know, you're going to risk being investigated yourself because of your deep, 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 deep ties to this man. So outside the police station, Gary and his little sidekick friend is talking about their plan. And Gary's like, I'm going to get her. I'm going to get rid of her. Uh, I'm going to get rid of her if she gets in my way. And nobody's sure who he's talking about. Maybe he's talking about Penelope. Maybe he's talking about Andy. Maybe he's talking about Tamara. Maybe he's talking about one of the girls of the sister circles. Who knows? We don't know. So he pull out the parking lot. And we find out Jordan been listening to this whole thing the whole entire time. And I'm like, Jordan, what you going to do? Jordan, what you going to do? This man had already tried to take you down and call you, tried to call you a Pedialyte. What you going to do, Jordan? What you going to do? What you going to do, light skin? What you going to do? Your sister missing. He coming after your girl. He ain't came for your career. What you going to do? You going to post up on him? You going to find some information? You going to try to out-scheme a scammer? You going to try to scam a scammer? What you going to do, Jordan? What you going to do? Child, I don't believe Jordan going to do nothing. He don't seem like the type. Anyway. At Gary's office, Jordan runs into a former intern, you know, of the building, and he tells her he's investigating, uh, no, he's interviewing at the company, and he gets, you know, old girl to spill all the details to him about Gary and what's going on with him. So, at the end of the day, Jordan's talking to Andy on the phone when Gary decides to hop his ass into the car and gives him a warning about getting into his business. And I'm just like, the man is crazy. The man is crazy, your honor. Put him in jail, your honor. He needs to go. Penelope had already disappeared. He already got the F to be in the eye investigating him. Some got to give. So down to the Zatima's house. Okay, Zach wants to hire a nanny. He wants to, no, not a nanny. He wants to hire an attorney. He wants to get his money back from Gary. He also wants to set up a trust for the kids. But he's not taking responsibility for Aaron's child. But Tima thinks him and Aaron should have a conversation about co-parenting. Y'all will have twins. Those twins have the same birthday. At some point, the twins might want to celebrate their birthday together. Um... They're fraternal, but they still gonna have the same birthday. But he ain't trying to hear all that. And at the office, Fatima tells Andy about this messy ass situation about Zach and Aaron being both the fathers of the twins. And then Andy tells her about the mess down to the police station and the FBI putting together a bigger case against Gary. And she worried that the police might use what she says. No, Fatima is worried that the police might use what Andy said against her. And it's just like, at some point, y'all need to start getting proactive and trying to counteract what Gary has going on. I also feel like this would be a good time to bring back Robin. I don't think Robin just going to give up his company and say, y'all can have it. I don't think so. I don't think so. Me and Mother Feisty have been watching Sisters, okay? And she don't think he's the type to just give up and run because he was pulling the strings with the company before revealing himself and let them old white men be on the forefront. It's time to bring Robin back. Robin, we miss you, boo. We do. Anyway, Maurice is down to the bank and him and Bald Spot Becky get into it again. He told her, stand down, ho. They get into it. It's very much comedy. It's funny. He, She threatens to report him. 
He keep his cool. And he gonna tell, like, after the run-in they have with each other again, he barges into Brita's office to tell her what's going on only to find her, only to find her trying to give herself fertility shots, and she just can't do it, so he ends up giving her a hand and tells her what happened with Carrie. The ball spot Becky. The Karen. And the fact that he don't like that lady. So later on, Sabrina goes down to Danny's house and she's finding, like, Danny is really finding it hard not to share the fact that Zach and Aaron are the fathers of the babies. So to avoid being like, you snitched out her, you told on her, she played a game of charades. So Sabrina can guess. And Sabrina guesses. And Ooh, it's a mess. Now, meantime, in between time, Tony shows up angry that his daughter brought home handcuffs from Danny's apartment after Danny told her to go home and ask him about them. And he's angry that she wasn't more responsible with his kids. And I feel like you talk, you angry at her about being responsible to your kids. You pawned your children off on her when she doesn't have a maternal bone in her body. Like, she's not your wife. She's not your babysitter. Find you a nanny. Find you a babysitter. Take care of them kids while you have to work. Danny is not that person. Her apartment is not set up to be kid-friendly. And your daughter is nosy as hell. She should have stayed out of Danny's stuff. Child, let's move on from there. Because Tony didn't got on my goddamn nerves. Where's Preston? Can Preston divorce that white lady and come on back? Divorce the Bob. Divorce the Bob and come on back to Danny. I know she she's a work in progress. She's a work in progress. But she gonna be okay. We're gonna work on it. We're gonna work on it. We're gonna get it done. We're gonna get it done. We're gonna we're gonna get it done. Okay. Just just come back. We miss you. Anyway, at the salon, Pam is trying to convince Karen to let Trey, the delivery driver, knock her walls loose. Until clingy ass Aaron show up and he back and he want help and he wants to check on his investment. Um, it is like investment. What investment? He invested in Pam's hair care product business. And Karen doesn't like him connecting with the people she's connected to and says he's just trying to find ways to be in her space. And he just wants her to tell people, including Pam, after the paternity of the twins. But she's not ready. And she ends up letting him know that Zach only wants to take care of Zach's child. Aaron, like, listen, Aaron finds Zach on the basketball court and promises to step up if Zach decides not to. And Zach was like, you already have kids. You have your own kids. Stop trying to be her knight in shining armor because she doesn't want it. Karen don't know what she want. One minute she wants Zach, one minute she wants Aaron, one minute she don't want nothing to do with them. She doesn't know what she wants. You have your own kids. Zach already has a child. Y'all going to take care of your own kids by yourselves and be done with it. Trey, once again, came back trying to talk to Karen, trying to take her out, trying to knock her walls loose, trying to be the man she wants him to be. Be the best man I can be, I can be, I can be. Oh, help me be the best man I can be. And she's like, I'm pregnant. And he's like, I'm not afraid of your belly. And it's just like, it's not going to work. She don't want you. She don't know what you want. Oh. So, Zach at home, he told him Fatima about the conversation he had with Aaron and admits that Fatima was right and he needs to talk to Aaron about taking responsibility. Uh, talk to Aaron and take responsibility for both babies. And it's just like, oh my God. So, now you're going to be stuck with this heifer for the rest of y'all lives. And it's just like, Zach was right. Stop trying to be her savior. She doesn't want it. She doesn't want you to be her savior. You already have two kids. And instead of trying to do right by the two kids you have and the one that's on the way, you're up in Zach's face talking about how you're going to take care of the kids and you're going to be there for them and you're going to be the father he can't be. And it's just like, boy, if you don't get the fuck on and do find you something safe to do, please find you something safe to do because this ain't safe for you. And with that being said, we'll probably be back either Wednesday. No. 
Thursday with another recap of Sisters. And I hope this finds everyone well. And I hope y'all liked my commentary. And with that being said, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and turn your post notifications on to share me with your people. And I will see y'all later. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.